Hello and welcome to the Stamping Sunday blog hop. Now the wonderful Sarah Levin, all hail her, she comes up with these uh, fabulous different projects for us to do for the blog hop that goes international. So please do go and check out my blog post and click on the links at the bottom of that to go and see all the other hoppers. I am so looking forward to seeing what you guys make. Honestly, it's oh, I've just had so much fun doing this. Right. Can you tell I'm excited? So she said to us, please, could you make a loaded envelope and then kind of put a couple of links to, you know, come look and see what it looked like? Because I'd not really heard of these. So off I go on to Pinterest and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is going to be like going to be my new obsession. So the idea is that you create these kind of like envelope pockety things and you just stuff it full of goodies to give to somebody. Now, OK, mine doesn't look like an envelope yet, but I'm going to make it into an envelope. <clears throat> but I thought I would give you the measurements now so that because if I put it all together, it'd be so much harder to show you. So I thought, let's do that now in front of you. So all I did was got I got six by 12 inch pieces of designer series paper now this is the paper that you can earn for free when you host a party or a party order over 150 pounds and basically you earn it for free it's fabulous so this measures six by 12 and i have folded it over here at five inches okay so that's the first layer and then i folded back just a little bit about a centimeter or a, uh, what's that mm, quarter of an inch just folded that section back just to make that a little bit stronger at the top then my second panel this is not as big this measures seven inches and i have folded it over at three inches okay so that was my initial kind of thought that I was going to, this is what I was going to do. But then I thought, hmm, I quite like the idea of that being tucked over so that I have a slightly shorter flap here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's a bit better. And then also I folded that section over. Now, to make it a little bit stronger, I think I will just glue that flap down just very lightly. Just a little dab of glue just to make it a little bit stronger across the top there. All right, so that's that's what that's gonna do. Now, I'm thinking I do need to make this quite a strong kind of, a you know, strong, oh, what's the word I want? I want to strongly adhere it together. So I'm gonna use, I'm wondering whether to use my tape. So this is my um, uh, really sticky tape stuff, but I think I'm also going to, use some staples to actually put it all together so i'm going to put some tape along here she says getting it all ready okay so a little bit of... i've forgotten the name of this it'll come to me in a second it's because i haven't used it for so long but i'm just going to stick oh, she says i did have it all lined up and then i had second thoughts so just going to line that up with that so that things don't fall out of that section there and then i'm going to put a little bit of adhesive along here just to get that all stuck down initially and then i'm going to get my little um now stamping up we used to sell this unfortunately don't anymore but it's this fabulous little stapler and I'm going to staple, oh, this has got to be stuck down as well, actually. What am I doing? So that section there. That goes down. Then this whole section here. And then just a little bit here. There we go. Right. So that makes our fabulous pockets. But because I'm going to be absolutely stuffing this, I want to do some reinforcements. So I'm going to staple there. Would help to actually have some staples oh, that work, that are doing their job. Come on then. I thought I'd run out then, but no, just uh, got dislodged. Sometimes that can happen. So you can just use like a mini desk stapler. It's exactly the same size sized staples that go into into those as these 
sort of fancy things here. Oh, that got caught. Oh, it's always when you're on camera and you're under pressure, isn't it, that they don't behave, these things. Right, I think that's worked. Okay, come on, work for me, please. I'm on camera. There we go. See, it's behaving itself now. So that's another pocket, so I want that securely attached as well. Right, here we go. So I've got my fabulous kind of open envelope, as it were, here ready to put my little bits and pieces now the next section is really easy because i've pretty much prepared everything that's going to go in here and i'm going to take great delight in showing you what i've made so using the same set of papers i've made a bookmark with just some lovely ribbon at the top so i try to use the colors that were already in these papers i also decorated just by sticking down some paper onto a little shopping notebook so that is going to go in the top because I want that to kind of stick out at the top. Then here I've packaged up some a couple of bags of tea bags and I can you tell I chose the colours because you know it all goes together. So these are like turmeric tea. So this was really easy to do and I'll give you the measurements for this because I'm sure some of you would love to make one of these. Uh, this measures three and a half inches across this piece of paper and I put my tea into a little grip seal baggie and then the measurement for the full length of this is uh, what's that four four and a half six so this is six inches long by three and a half and I just folded that over and I love the fact that our DSP is double-sided because look you've got that fabulous contrast of the yellow against the black and the white and then you've just got your coloured piece now if you're using a design that's the right way up just remember to fold the right bit so that the hearts are the right way up so that it's facing so I'm thinking that because this is going to be a little bit more squishy let's chuck that one in there then I did exactly the same thing but with a little bag of sweets okay so I just put some colourful sweets in there these actually my neighbour bought these for me she went on holiday and got those for me so that was good wasn't it now it really is going to be very stuffed and loaded this I love it right so here I also have a little thing um, with um, that I made sort of decorated myself so it was purchased uh, sticky notes but I've made a little kind of like folder for it to go into and put a piece of magnet now the magnet is underneath that section there and uh, it just about kind of magnetizes and I'm hoping that that is gonna just about fit in somewhere along here there we go oh yeah that's in then I happen to have these adorable pens that I think just fit so fabulously with the whole colour scheme. And I'm going to pop those in as well. Look at that. This would make such a lovely gift for like a teenager or a teenager who likes bright colours. You know, little like study pack type thing. Right, and these are like the most fun things. I love these. Uh, little paper clip decorated paper clips so again using the colors that uh, were inspired by the DSP I cut out the uh, large daisy and the medium daisy and used these to great effect these are the pierced blooms dies and I cut out quite a few of those to decorate in different places and I'm just looking to see if I can add a few more so I've got that little one now I would use a hot glue gun for this this makes life so much easier course try not to burn yourself when you do that um like i did um yeah so i i was a bit liberal with the glue so that just makes a fabulous little um paper clip which you can then tuck in at different places to decorate uh, do one here and then this was the cat punch that i punched out three black sheets of three black cats with the basic black card stock and then use the heart uh, punch just to create a little background for my kitty because I just thought that was so adorable and it's just a case of kind of finding where to put put her now so I want, I want to show her off oh, I want the sweets to show off too so no, oh, trying to figure out where to put this one I've got space 
Oh, maybe over here instead. Oh, there's a little space there for things, so move that up a bit. There we go. So there it is, my loaded envelope. And I've just got a couple of spare, few little pieces there left. And I'm thinking I could decorate just the, the side of that because I've done that on the other one. Anyway, you could have great fun using up your DSP. It's a great stash buster in terms of using up DSP and also great fun. And it's a useful gift. You know, I love giving useful little little gifts and also they're reusable in that you've got a notebook bookmark pens post-it notes and then some really cool clips that can be put in your planner or whatever you want to use it for really so there we go please let me know and have a go yourselves making your own loaded envelope and I look forward to seeing all the other hoppers. So do, again, click on the blog post link in the description and go and have a look and see what everyone else has done. Take care for now. See you soon.